All right, here we are in Adobe Dimension, and I have a new canvas open. This is just the default that Dimension gives me, but I always like to go and click on the 100% zoom so I can see the canvas I'm working with, which is pretty small and low res. This is good if you're just experimenting and want something rendered fast, but if you want something high resolution, I always size up to about 2000 pixels wide by, you know, whatever height I need for this project. So I'll we'll go 2004 pixels tall, and then I will change the resolution here to 300 so that I get a really nice, crispy, not pixelated rendering. And then now I start dropping in my pieces. So there's our tincture bottle. I'm gonna rotate it around. Um, so we'll do bottle. I'm gonna just keep dropping in these before I start tweaking anything. It's always so tempting, but let me go ahead and get everything assembled. So we have top number three, that would be the base. I'll just keep that there for now while I keep adding stuff on top of it. It doesn't matter quite where you place it because we'll use our align tools to make sure that everything lines up really nicely. And the ridges, there we go. And then we also need the dropper. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to start labeling things. So dropper, so I'll highlight those three, center and center using our align tools here. Um, same with the ridges, I should have included them. They need to be centered as well. And the dropper, but we'll get there. We'll get these guys centered. I don't understand how the ridges the rotation. Okay, so we need those at 90, 180, 180. Perfect. All right, we're really gonna zoom in here and get a good look because we need to start moving stuff around. All right, so top two, we need to bring that up along with the ridges. And the ridges will sit right about there See how is it looking from different angles. Okay, so we have the top number two is up a little too high, so we need to bring that down so there's no gap. And same with the ridges. You can adjust the height here in the size. So if they were too tall and this was gonna be clear or glass that you could see through, then you could change to four centimeters. Yeah, so changing the Z value, since I rotated it around, it assigned it the Z value, so we'll change that to 1.5. We will also now change our perspective and bring the squeezy part up so that it fits right where it needs to go. We'll group the top and the ridges now that we have them placed where we need to. We'll drop them into the top dropper folder that I just made. And then the dropper, we'll select both of those, come to our align tool and hit align center, align center, and just the dropper select and drag it up until they meet. So now let's get back to our front of the bottle. It'll be easier if I create a camera bookmark and save this as front. So now I will select the top dropper and the dropper. We'll group those, nesting all these groups together. We'll call that dropper. And then we'll select the bottle, go back to our align tool, align, align, come back to the dropper and scoot it up. And remember in the reference, it should rest right, right above that bump. That's about where it needs to be, yeah. All right, let's go back to our front view and I'm gonna move our group around here so that it's in the center. Beautiful. Now we need to add our materials. So I want this to be glass so we can see that dropper. Um, I'm going to go grab this hex value real quick because if it imported from Illustrator, it won't be in your like saved palette. So I'm gonna copy that because once I drag this glass, I just know it's gonna get rid of that color and I'll need to redo. There we go. So come back to base color. Oh, it did save it, lucky us. So click on that and then we'll come over to our materials panel and we'll adjust some things. So we can play with the index of refraction, which is how the light passes through the glass. We can play with some density here if we needed, but 
I think just adjusting the index of refraction is going to get us that cloudy amber color. Right now it's looking really red, so that color that I sampled might not be quite right, and you might have to go kind of play in that color, color wheel, play in the color palette to get the effect that you want. And it also depends a lot upon the lighting in the background, the color that you've chosen, um, different light settings can all affect how the color looks. So a lot of it is just playing around, getting it to look and trick the eye into thinking that that's what it is. Now we have a slightly lighter color. And then I like the dropper. I like that it's matte. I think that works really well. But the dropper itself, I am going to change to glass. And that'll reflect nicely. We could go adjust some settings in there. But overall, I think that's looking really good. And then if you wanted to, like I mentioned before, if you needed to have like a floating kind of dropper or make it look like it's actually dropping, I would go back and I would add that detail for the corkscrew to the top. But if you're just going to rest, rest it in place and have that mock up, then that's totally cool too. And that's how you create a tincture bottle. Thanks so much for watching and following along. If you liked my content and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions along the way, I'm more than happy to answer them for you in the comments. If you have a suggestion of an object that you'd like to see me create in Dimension, comment that below too. And until next time.